is uh, it's really admirable that uh, you know the group that's sitting here and congratulations you're all graduating today from your this learning experience this time and uh, it shows that you want to do things differently so what I will say uh, um, in a few minutes is that uh, uh, one should never become comfortable one should be contented with life but never contented with our progress and I always say that best is enemy of better because every time we think that this is it no this is never it the status quo is the worst thing that one can kind of fall into because today I think we see the progress is so fast and so rapidly that is happening literally globally in the field of science, in the field of technology. And when we talk of medicine, uh, if you really think about, you know, the world population is growing, the disease spectrum is growing and changing. And how can we really help people? And, you know, the best way is utilizing the technology, the new innovations, new ways. So with that, I want to congratulate you again and Keep the journey going. Don't give up and keep pushing for better and better. Thank you. First of all, I would like to thank you, Dr. Mishra, Dr. Bala, for your enthusiastic learning. Your ways of learning are admirable, to be honest. And to, to really be sincere, I think you are one of my favorite doctors and teachers right now. I really am. I'm honored to be a student of you. And the course was amazing. I learned a lot of skills, even though I already practiced lap laparoscopic, but it, it, you opened my mind in another way. It's a great program, and uh, where I've learned a lot, obviously my journey still continues for another week, but I'm really thankful and very pleased that uh, I made this journey. I think I should uh, appreciate Dr. Srivastav. He could spot me or talk, spot on saying that not so old people. So here I am. <laughs> Jokes apart, I have been planning for the past 30 years to come for this training. So it's been really long and it's like my children are all along with me as my students. And I completely concur that we have to come out of our comfort zone to learn. I'm a consultant at Fortis Hospitals. And I've been doing robotic surgery with a colleague of mine. I've also been doing laparoscopic surgery and have learned from all my students. The sad part of the Indian curriculum is there's no laparoscopic training instilled in the best colleges. And that's something which we need to probably look into because if there is something in the curriculum, I think it will be really helpful for most of us surgeons. At the first day of our program, Dr. Mr. Sir told me what is interesting to go to come here. I told that uh, I want to know the basics of laparoscopic surgery, know the general laparoscopic surgery and do the advanced surgery. And uh, after these days from morning to evening program, the systemic program, I can uh, say that, sir, I know something about laparoscopic surgery, the fundamentals of laparoscopic surgery. And uh, after some few days later, I can say that um, I can do almost all that laparoscopic surgery. I can proceed them at most. Uh, I have the, this confidence in me. My general surgery from India itself, but uh, the enhancement, the latest technology, the a broader insight towards uh, laparoscopic uh, surgical procedures was not uh, yet that something that I had attained to. But uh, I was told by Dr. Mishra, and uh, as my fellow doctor also said that. Um, Hello Friends being one of the most opening statements of Dr. Mishra's uh, videos was uh, always like a, like a magnetic pull, you know, that okay, maybe this is the place that I want to go to learn. And uh, by God's grace, uh, it, was, uh, it was a great opportunity to learn here. And uh, I hope basically my further journey continues in this field. I'm very proud to say that I can invite most of my friends I myself have been a foreign medical graduate. I have a lot of friends from uh, Nigeria, outside the world, so many places. So I can proudly say, I can proudly present it to them that I have an institute in my country where 
I can invite them for a such a wonderful course. And uh, another thing, all the people who are non-doctors here are amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed all these uh, two weeks of course. Excellent tutor. Every day I was admiring your surgical skills. Um, not only the surgical excellent teacher and your computer skills is a, another amazing thing which I always admired even struggling a draw an arrow was a struggle for me and you did all this uh, teaching um, I, I lot to take home from this um, I, I'm sure I'll recommend for some of the trainees there as well to come here it's an excellent course fabulous and Dr. Bala and all the staffs in the, the lab and everything they were like uh, teaching us very well and I was admiring how they are doing so much um, being as a thing and how I can improve every day, very friendly atmospheres and all my peers as well. I have to thank you. It's an excellent course, strongly recommend for everybody. I've had the good fortune to train in many of India's premier institutes like PGI and JIPMER. I say this with a heavy heart because I'm a faculty in PGI, I shouldn't say this, but nobody teaches laparoscopy so well. Uh, so I hope I can go back and teach it to my students as well, especially the basics of how to insufflate, how to create a new peritoneum. People may tell you how to do a good lab coli, but nobody tells you the basics of laparoscopy. When I first came here, I had experience of lab for six to seven years, but it was like I was blindly doing things by seeing others. But as it is said that knowledge is light. After attending SIRS classes, now I know the basics of everything and I, I have the confidence that once I go and start my own practice, I can do everything. And I'm very